Hey lovely yogis, hope you're all well and having an amazing day so far. Hopefully it's about to become even more amazing now that you are on your yoga mat. This is going to be one of my usual style of classes, so a bit fun, a bit funky, a bit creative, a bit challenging. Particular focus on opening up through the hips and the side bodies today. We will definitely get the whole body working, but those should be the places where you're maybe feeling a little bit of burn and a little bit of stretch. So if that sounds like something that you're up for, come and meet me on your mat when you're ready. If you do make it to the end of this practice and you enjoyed it, I would be really grateful if you could take a second to leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the class. Any feedback is always appreciated. You can also give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so that hopefully we can be together on our mats again very soon. Enough talking from me for now. Let's meet on our backs in a reclined butterfly shape. So finding your way down, bringing soles of the feet to touch, letting the knees open out wide to the sides. And I can often find that my hips feel a little bit stuck, like they don't really want to drop into this shape to begin with. If that's the case, you might find a little bit of movement here, giving the hips a little wiggle, maybe some circles through the knees. You might find there's a few little clicks a few little pops, and then your knees can maybe drop open into the shape a little bit further. Knowing there's plenty of movement coming up, so can you really surrender yourself to enjoy these first few minutes in stillness? Settling into a shape that you can comfortably hold to give yourself the opportunity to really drop in here. So you've already arrived on your mat physically, but maybe mentally you're a bit preoccupied, your mind is elsewhere. If that's the case, can you use the physical sensations in your body and the sensations where your mat meets your skin to help ground you into the present moment? knowing that this is the only time that you will ever have this moment right here. So instead of using it to think about past events that can't be changed or future events that might never happen, can you use this time to be completely present with whatever is alive for you right here, right now? Maybe letting your awareness drift through any other physical sensations that capture your awareness. Places that feel particularly tense and tight and that need some extra care and attention from you today. Maybe places that are already feeling particularly spacious and open and where you can feel your breath moving in to bring expansion into those spaces. Then suggestion here to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your stomach to help you connect to your breath. Observing the rise and the fall of your torso on the wave of each breath. Feeling that expansion, the belly and chest rising on the wave of each inhale. Feeling that release as everything softens back down, let go of your exhale. Just following the breath, hold it in your awareness for a few cycles. And you might find that as you observe the breath, it starts to change. Maybe it becomes a bit deeper, fuller, smoother, slower. Letting your breath expand in more space, in more time, each inhale and exhale a little bit longer than the ones that came before them. Final few moments here in stillness, really establishing that solid connection to your breath and your body so that they can guide you through this practice. Moving in a way that enables you to prioritize a full complete breath 
and that respects whatever it is that your body needs today. Let's start to move. Cactus the arms, bending the elbows. Roll the right knee to meet the left knee. Keep the shoulders in contact with the floor. Open back out through center. Drift it over to the other side. Open back through center. Then keep it going like you're opening and closing a book. Easing ourselves into some gentle movement. Next time the knees fall over to the right, let them rest there for a few cycles of breath. Open it back out through center. Knees drift over to the other side. Sink in here. Open it back out through center. Keep the right leg as it is. Extend the left leg long, finding a reclined tree shape. So really imagine like you're stood on your left foot. Flex the toes to point up towards the ceiling. Activate that leg. Imagine like you're trying to press your calf and your thigh down into the floor. Now start to roll your right knee over towards the left hand side, finding a supine twist. Then roll it back open, reclined tree. Then keep that movement going, twisting over, opening back out. Take a few more on your own. Next time you're rolling through center, catch the right knee into the chest, hands interlace around the knee or the shin, circle through the ankle, move through the hip. Now lift and extend your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling, maybe circle the ankle a few times. Then keep the legs in the same arrangement, but rock yourself up to seated. See if you can find the balance on your sit bones. Keep everything the same, but reach your fingertips towards the front of the room. Drop the legs onto the floor, fingertips by your sides, lean back at a 45 degree angle. Then can you lift the left leg so the knees are in line, lower the left leg back down, draw the right knee into the chest, place the foot down, lift the left, lower, right, lower. A few more, left, Right, take it up, down, in and out. Last one of each. Draw the right knee in, pause, step the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, reach both arms up, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist to the right, Adamatsi Andrasana. Hold here for a big inhale, more lift, more length. Stay for the exhale, more twist, more depth. Turn to face forward. Right ankle crosses over the top of the left ankle, hands plant behind you. Inhale, reverse plank with the ankles crossed. Exhale, lower the hips, lift the legs high as you can. Inhale, lower the heels, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips, lift the legs. One more of each, big inhale, reverse plank. Big exhale, lift the legs. Now lower the legs down, keep the ankles crossed. Breathe in, reach both arms up. Breathe out, cross ankle, forward fold. Staying for a big inhale. Maybe folding a little bit deeper as you exhale. Roll yourself back upright, reach the fingertips forward, keep the ankles crossed. Roll all the way down onto your back. Plant the hands by your sides. Lift the legs all the way up to the ceiling, keeping the cross of the ankles. Lower the heels down to hover. Four more times. Up. Down. Lift. And hover. Last two. One more time. Now draw the knees into the chest, keep the ankles crossed, catch the edges of the feet, pull the heels in towards the hips, 
have a little rock from side to side. Let go of the feet. Extend the right leg long, let the left knee drop out to the side, reclined tree, cactus the arms. Again, we're active here. Right toes are pointing up, press the thigh, press the calf into the floor, ground through the right hip. Find that twist, roll the left knee over towards the right hand side. Open it back out, recline tree. A few more like that on your own. Prioritizing keeping the shoulders on the floor rather than worrying about reaching the knee to the floor. Next time the knee is rolling back through center, catch hold of it, pull it into your chest. Any movement through that left leg. Lift and extend the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, point flex, circle the ankle. Then rock yourself all the way up to sit, catch the balance on the sit bones, reach the fingertips forward, legs are still hovering. Drop the feet, drop the fingertips beside the legs, lean back at an angle, lift the right leg, lower, left knee in, foot down, keep it going right, left for three, last two, one more of each, draw the left knee in, pause, step the foot outside the right knee, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, twist to the left, hold for a big inhale, stay for a big exhale. Spin back to face forward, cross the left ankle over the top of the right, place the hands behind you. Inhale, reverse plank. Exhale, drop the hips, lift the legs. Inhale, feet down, hips high. Exhale, hips low, legs extend up. One more of each, breathe in, breathe out. Now lower the legs down, keep the ankles crossed, Big inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Big exhale, fold down over the legs. Stay in your fold for a full inhale. Maybe melting down even deeper as you release your exhale. Then inhale, roll yourself all the way back up, reach your fingers forward. Exhale, slow, lower all the way down onto the back. Plant the arms by your sides. Lift the legs all the way up to the ceiling. Lower the heels to hover. Bring it up. Take it down. For three. Last two. One more time. Lift the legs up, then draw the knees into the chest, catch the edges of the feet, pull the heels into the hips, have a little rock, a little sway from side to side. Then uncross the ankles, let go of the feet. Bring the arms in between the knees so you can catch hold of the edges of the feet now, finding a reclined butterfly shape, but with the feet away from the floor, hands on the feet. Now again, can you rock yourself up to seated, find the balance still holding onto the edges of the feet, then drop the feet to the floor, fold down over the legs, Baddha Maybe have a little sway from side to side, a little wiggle here. Roll yourself back upright, place the left hand behind you, reach your right arm up and over, finding a side body stretch. Then remember the right arm behind the right hip, reach the left arm over, lean and reach. Left hand down, right arm reaches. Right hand down, left arm sweeps up and over. One more each way, big breath in. Big breath out. 
back through center, reach both arms up to the ceiling. See if hands free, you can step the feet as wide as the mat, then lift the hips into a malasana. Drop the hips down, soles of the feet together, knees open out wide. Plant the feet wide, lift the hips, lower the hips, soles of the feet touch. A few more times, finding some mobility through the hips. Hands can always come down for support if needed. Let's meet in our malasana and pause. Bring your hands to your heart, press your elbows into your knees, using that to help open the knees and the inner thighs up. Inhale, right hand down, left arm up, twist. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, over to the other side. Exhale, through center. One more each way, breathe in. Breathe out. Last time, big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, press the stand, reach the arms overhead, lift your heels when you get to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center, lower down, malasana. Two more times, inhale, reach and rise, lift the heels. Exhale, lower back down. Last time, big breath in. Big breath out, lower down into your malasana. Place the hands on the floor, big step back with the left foot, landing in lizard. Right foot is outside the right hand. Rock forwards and backwards on your left hip toes. Gently soften the left knee onto the floor. Inhale here, sink the hips even lower, open the heart even more. Exhale, wide half split, straighten the front leg. Inhale, lizard, bend the back knee, squeeze the heel in towards the hips as you do so. Exhale, wide half split, straighten the front leg, drop the left toes back down. A few more, inhale forward. Exhale back. Breathe in, lizard lunge. Breathe out, wide half split. Inhale forward into your lizard and pause, heel squeezing in towards the glute. Sweep your right arm, forwards up and back, make a big rainbow with the arm and then catch the back foot, maybe pull the heel in towards the hips. Whatever shape you're in, just think about spiraling your chest open towards the side of the space. If you've got the back foot, let it go. Place the right hand down, lift the back knee. Then more challenging it looks, can you lift the right foot and step it through between the hands, a low lunge, then step it back outside the hands, lizard. Step it in between, step it back out a few more times, into center, out to the side. Into center and pause, drop the back knee back onto the floor. Inhale, reach both arms up, low lunge. Exhale, right hand, right hip, lean over to the right hand side. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale, left hand, left hip, lean it over. This time, inhale through center. Exhale, right fingertips towards the floor, left arm reaches over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, maybe the left fingertips come down. One more each way, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one through center. Last time over to the left. Inhale through center, tuck under the back toes, lift the back knee, step onto your right foot, draw your left knee into your chest. Then step the left toes back, soften the knee to the floor. Four more times, step it in. Take it back for three. Last two. Last one, step, draw the knee in and pause. Externally rotate the hip, open the left knee out to the side, point it back forward, to the side, forward, open, 
close, last time out to the side, pause, maybe hands free, you can deliver your left foot to your right inner thigh, tree pose, holding the shape for a few breaths, maybe lower your hands to your heart here, taking a little bit of that heat out of the shoulders. Can you get active through your standing leg? Really press your right thigh into the sole of your left foot. Find a steady point to hold your gaze. Then if you want to add on, let's lift the right heel, come onto the tiptoes, lower back down, lift, lower, up, down for three, two, and one. Lower it down. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, left hand, left knee, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, reach both arms up, catch the left wrist with the right fingertips. Exhale, step the left toes off the right side of the mat and lean over to the right. Inhale, bring the foot back into tree pose. Exhale, left hand, left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up, catch the left wrist. Exhale, step it back, side bend. A few more times, inhale, foot back into tree. Exhale, left hand, left knee. Inhale, reach the arm up, catch the wrist. Exhale, step and lean. Last one of each, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step, find this side bend and pause. Find a curtsy lunge, bend into both knees. Extend for four. Three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Now step your left foot behind your right so the ankles are crossed. One more big inhale, a length in the spine even taller. Exhale, forward fold down over both legs. Have a little moment here to breathe and to move. Maybe walk the hands from left to right. Maybe catch hold of opposite elbows as you sway from side to side. Now lower your left hand down towards the floor. Open your right arm up towards the ceiling. Find a twist. Then start to lift your back leg away from the mat so you arrive in a revolved half moon. Big inhale, big exhale. Hover your left hand away from the floor, floating revolved half moon. Keep the upper body twisted to the right, step the left toes all the way back, come into a twisted crescent lunge. Inhale, reverse it, right hand on the back leg, left arm by the ear. Exhale, side plank, left hand down, right arm up, roll onto the edge of your left foot, stack your right leg on top, reach your right arm by your ear. Inhale, tap the left hip down towards the floor. Exhale, lift it back up. Four more, inhale, exhale, for three, Last two, one more time. Lift it up and pause. Roll into your high plank. Inhale, shift forwards onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs. Exhale, hop, land in a malasana. Lift the hands, bring them to your heart. Place the hands back down, then hop back into a bent knee, downward facing dog. Hop it forward, malasana. Hop it back, Adho Mukha Shivanasana. Keep it going, malasana. Downward dog. Let's hop it forward to Malasana and pause. Hands to heart, hips low, chest spacious and open. Inhale, 
Inhale, right hand down, left arm up, twist. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, open to the other side. Exhale, back, keep it moving. Inhale, twist, find the fluidity. Exhale, center. Over to the left, bring it back. Now open up to the right and pause. Maybe explore a bind here. Left arm behind the back. Right arm wraps around the front of the shin. Spiral your chest and shoulders open to the left hand side. Now optional to see if you can keep this bind and come up to stand on your right, on your left foot, lifting the right leg away from the mat as you do so using that bind. Then maybe start to hinge the torso forwards bringing the upper body parallel to the floor. Then can you deliver the right foot back down into Malasana? Release, take it over to the other side, left hand down, right arm up, maybe right arm behind the back, left arm around the shin, roll your chest and shoulder open. Maybe experiment with standing on your right foot, lifting, your left leg up with you along the way. Maybe hinging down. Placing left foot back on the floor. Malasana, unravel the hands. Feet down, big step back with your right foot, lizard. Rock forwards and backwards on the tiptoes. Soften the right knee onto the floor. Take a big inhale, wide half split as you exhale. Inhale, lizard, bend the back knee, squeeze the heel in. Exhale, wide half split. A few more times, big inhale, big exhale. Forwards with your in breath, backwards with your out breath. Last time forward, squeeze the heel in, pause. Left arm reaches forwards, up, back, rainbow the arm, catch the back foot, pull the heel in, sink the hips low. Can you let go of the back foot with control? Let it drop back slowly. As soon as the right toes land, lift the right knee, place the left hand down. Then can you step the left foot in between the hands, then back outside, bring it in, step it back a few more, center, lizard, in, out. Bring it into center, pause, soften the back knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, left hand, left hip, right arm reaches. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, side bend to the other side. Keep it moving, reach, breathe in. Bend, breathe out, maybe lowering the fingertips to the floor this time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. One more each way. Center, left. Reach up, lower to the right. Reach both arms up. Back toes are tucked under. Lift the back knee, step it forward, draw the knee in. Step the foot back, soften the knee to the floor. Four more times, forwards. Back. In. And down. Last two. Last one, step it forward, draw the knee in, pause, arms are reaching up. Open the knee out. Point it forward, open, forward, to the right, to the front, to the right, pause, place the right foot on the left inner thigh, maybe hands free. Maybe bring the hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Any other arm variation is welcome here. You could do it the same as you did before or something different on this side. Then optional, five times, lift the heel, lower, up, down, for three, 
for two and one. Lower the heel. Reach the arms up. Big inhale. Right hand, right knee. Side bend. Exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. Catch the right wrist. Exhale, step the right toes back. Lean to the left. Inhale, place the right foot back into tree. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, right arm up, catch the wrist. Exhale, step, lean to the left. A few more times. Inhale, tree. Exhale, bend. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, catch, lean left. Last one of each. Inhale, tree. Exhale, bend. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, side bend. Pause. Five curtsy lunges. Dip, lift, lower, rise. For three. For two. And one. Bring it up. Cross the right ankle behind the left ankle. Take one more big inhale. Forward fold. Release your exhale. A few breaths to yourself here. Right hand down at the top of the mat, left arm opens up, twist. Lift your back leg to the height of the hip, Padivrita Ardha Chandrasana, revolved half moon. Can you lift that right leg so the heel is at the height of the hip? Engage your core here. Lift your right hand to hover away from the mat. Stay twisted to the left as you step the right foot back and lift into your twisted crescent lunge. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, right hand down, Vashistasana. Stack the left foot on top of the right. Reach your left arm by your ear. Inhale, tap the right hip to the floor. Exhale, lift up. Four more, lower, lift, down and up. Last two, last one. Roll into your high plank. Inhale onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, send the hips back. Arumukha Shivanasana. Pause for a few breaths. Inhale, bend the knees, press the chest back. Exhale, hop. Malasana, top of the mat, hands to heart. Place the hands back down. Hop back, bent knee downward dog. Hop it forward. Malasana, building some heat. Getting the heart rate going. Some nice dynamic movement. Let's meet back in downward facing dog next time you're there. Feel your heart beating, feel that blood flowing through your body, that energy that you've just unlocked. Inhale, sweep your right leg high, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hip, draw some big circles with the right knee. Switch direction of the circles. Inhale, three-legged dog, bent knee, open it up. Exhale, right knee over to the left elbow, tap. Inhale, bent knee, three-legged dog, open the hip. Exhale, twist, tap the elbow. One more time, inhale, three leg. Exhale, bend, tap the elbow, pause. Maybe fly into Ekapadakudinyasana. And let's all meet in fallen triangle. Maybe getting there from Ekapada, dropping the edge of the right foot off the left side of the mat. Spin to the inside edge of the back foot. Reach your left arm by your ear. Maybe play around with hovering your right leg away from the mat any amount. Then place it back down. Let's drop the hips to the floor. Side bend to the back of the mat. Left hand to left foot. Right arm reaches and maybe catches the foot as well. 
then place the right hand back down at the top, left arm by the ear, lift back, fall and triangle. A few more like that, lower the hips, lean over the left leg. Place the right hand down, lift the hips up. Let's lower into that side bend and pause. Keeping your chest spiraling open to the side rather than down towards the floor. Then release from the side bend, walk the hands through center, fold down in between both legs now. Then carry on walking the hands around to the right, fold, forward, fold down over your front leg. So we're not side bending, we're folding down over that leg. Now walk your right hand back to the top of the mat, push back into fallen triangle, lift the hips, reach the left arm by the ear. Now can you step your right foot back behind your left foot so you come into a staggered side plank. You're on the inside edge of your left foot and the outside edge of your right foot and the right foot is behind the left. Now can you start to lift your left foot and draw the left knee into your chest? Step the foot back behind you, find your wild thing. Push your hips and your heart high up to the ceiling. Roll the left hand down, draw the left knee into the chest, step the foot through, spin the back heel down, rise into warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Exhale, bend the front knee, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Last time, inhale, triangle back. Exhale, extended side angle, pause. Maybe you experiment with the bind here. Right arm wraps behind the back, left arm underneath the left thigh. Maybe the fingertips meet, maybe not. Either way, just focus on spiraling your chest and your shoulders open to the side of the room. Now option for bird of paradise, step right foot next to left. Come to stand on your right foot, lift your left leg away from the mat. Maybe extend the leg straight out to the side. Maybe keep hold and hinge down, finding a flat back. Place the left foot back down on the floor. Can you keep the bind around the left leg and lift the right leg back behind you, finding a bound half moon? If you weren't in Bird of Paradise, meet us in a regular half moon. Falling in and out of this bound version as many times, super challenging. If you've got the bind, unwind. Let's all find half moon. Ardha Chandrasana, big inhale. Lower the right hand down as you exhale. Sweep the right leg high, standing splits. Big step back with the right foot, low lunge. Kick the left leg back to hover, high plank. Bend the elbows, lower the chest down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, sweep the left leg high, three-legged. Bend the knee, open the hip, draw those circles. Switch direction of the circles. Then inhale, open the knee up even more. Three-legged dog with a bent knee. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, twist and tap. One more, breathe in. Breathe out, maybe find Ekapada. Then let's meet in our fallen triangle. Maybe getting there from your Ekapada Kudanyasana. Maybe you play around with lifting your left leg away from the mat any amount. 
place it down, sit down, lean and side bend over to your right foot. Place the left hand down, lift the hips back up. Lower the hips, side bend to the right. Lift the hips, sweep the right arm by the ear. Now lower the hips down, find that side bend over to the right hand side. Maybe the left hand is reaching towards the foot as well. Walk the hands through center, fold down in between both legs. Walk it through center, forward fold down over the front leg. Walk the left hand back to the top of the mat, lift back up into your fallen triangle. Then thread your left leg behind your right leg, coming onto the outside edges, the outside edge of the left foot, the inside edge of the right foot, Vashi Stasana. Lift your right foot so you can draw the knee into the chest. Step the toes over and back, wild thing. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Keep the right knee bent, pull the knee in, step it through, windmill your way up. Vera two. Find your alignment here, energize those arms. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse it back. Exhale, reach it forwards. Last time, big breath in. Big breath out, extended side angle and pause. Possibly experimenting with the bind, left arm behind, right arm under the thigh, spinning your chest open. Maybe bird of paradise, left foot meets right. Lift your right foot, up and out to the side, embracing all of those wobbles along the way. Maybe extend your right leg all the way up to the ceiling, pointing or flexing through the foot. Maybe keep the leg out to the side as you hinge down. Then place the right foot back on the floor. Maybe keep the bind around the right leg as you lift the left leg into Ada Chandrasana with the bind. Meeting us in half moon if you were somewhere else. Release the bind, right hand down, left arm up. Left hand down to the floor, left leg even higher, standing splits. Big step back with the left foot into a lunge. Step your right leg back to hover, one-legged plank, one-legged vinyasa, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog for a few deep breaths. Inhale, ripple and wave it forward, high plank. Exhale, snake it back, downward dog. Inhale forward. Exhale back, one more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now inhale, bend the knees, press the chest back. Exhale, step, hop, launch, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach and rise, both arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Turn to face the long edge of the mat, toes point out, heels point in. Inhale, reach the arms up, bend the knees. Exhale, hands onto the thighs, legs extend. Inhale, bend and reach. Exhale, straighten and lower. One more time, inhale, bend and pause. Lift your right heel, lower, four more up, 
down, lift, lower, last two, last one, lift, keep it lifted, pulse the hips, five, four, three, two, one, place it down, lift, left, lower, up, down, up, down for two, and one, keep it lifted, pulse, pulse, dip, dip, dip. Now both heels up, down, lift, lower for three, two, one. Lift, keep them lifted, dip, dip, five, four, yes, extra, two, and one. Keep them lifted, hold. Straighten the legs, heels are lifted. Bend the knees, extend, bend, straighten, dip. Let's do three, two, and one. Drop the heels, turn the toes in, the heels out. Big inhale, prasarita, fold, big exhale. Keep your left hand down, open your right arm up, find a twist. Wrap your right arm behind your back, find a half bind, spiral your chest open. Maybe walk your left hand over to your right ankle, using that grip to pull you even deeper into the twist. Unravel, reset through center, second side. Right hand down, left arm up, twist. Wrap the arm behind the back, find the half bind. Maybe walk your right hand onto your left ankle, bend the elbow, pull yourself into the twist. Walk it back through center, place the hands under the shoulders, hop the feet in so they're about in a malasana distance. Slide the hands back so the fingertips are just behind the heels. Can you sit the thighs on the backs of the arms and then lift the legs? Maybe extend them, finding Titibhasana. Maybe cross, left ankle over the top of the right. Extend it back out. Right ankle over left. Extend it back out. Held for one more big inhale. Slide it down into Upavista Konasana. Release your exhale, pointing the toes up towards the ceiling. Reach and lengthen through the arms. Bring the legs a little bit more narrow than your deepest expression of the shape so that you can hinge down to hover away from the mat. Then come back upright, hovering side bend over to the left, back through center, lean to the right, both arms up, down through center, bring it back up, lean to the left, bring it up, lean to the right, reach through center, last time down through center, bring the arms up, last time to the left, bring it back up, last time to the right, Bring it back up. Now lower the fingertips to the floor. You can bring the legs back as wide as you would like now. And then we'll fold down in between the legs. We'll be here for a good few breaths. So connect to your breath, settle in, get comfortable, or get comfortable with the discomfort that you might be feeling. Let the breath be a tool that anchors you in this moment, something that provides grounding and presence. So you might find that as you slow your body down, your mind starts to speed up. And maybe you can counteract that by staying connected to your breath. A slow and steady breath to bring a slow and steady calm mind. Maybe noticing how the thoughts in your mind evolve and change as you hold this shape. If maybe you let go of some resistance in the mind and soften into it, or maybe you get a bit frustrated and you feel like you want to get out of it. 
no right or wrong, just seeing what is going on. Potentially releasing down a little bit deeper as you hold this shape. Start to draw yourself back upright as you draw your next breath in. We'll take a side bend and hold this time and we'll crisscross the arms. So reach your left hand towards your right thigh, sweep your right arm up and over, maybe catching hold of your left foot, maybe nestling your left shoulder towards the inside of your left knee. Even as you hold this shape, make sure you're not holding your breath. Sitting really big inhales and exhales to bring more of a stretch through your right side. Bring yourself all the way back up. We'll take it straight to the other side. Right hand on left thigh, left arm towards the right foot. Find your shape, find your breath, find stillness. Bring yourself back upright. Bring the hand around the back knee so you can swing it forwards to meet your front leg. <clears throat> Both legs extended out in front of you. Reach your arms forward, lean back, lift the legs into a straight leg boat pose. Tap the right toes down, lift, tap left, lift, tap both, lift, tap right, left both, a few more, right, left, last bit of spice, both, last time right, last time left, last time both, extend the legs, keep them extended, maybe reach the arms all the way up overhead, breathe in, lower to hover, breathe out, hold for an inhale, release down as you exhale, catch the knees into the chest, Give them a hug, a squeeze, have a rock from side to side. Take a really big expansive breath here, so much so that you can feel your legs being pushed away from you as you inhale. Feel them draw back in towards you as you exhale. Keep hold of your right knee, extend your left leg long, right leg to the left, right arm wide, find your twist. Maybe extend the right leg, catch the outside edge of the foot with the left hand. Maybe bend your left leg, catch that foot with the right hand. Let go, unravel, reset through centre. Take it to the second side. Right leg long, left knee in, then twist it over. 
Maybe finding that same variation, bending the bottom knee, catching the foot, extending the top knee, catching the foot. Let go, unravel through center. Any final movements along the way before making your way into your final rest and relaxation, coming down for Shavasana. We'll take a good few moments here in stillness and if you're very tempted to jump up and end the class now, I would just gently encourage you to hang out for a few moments longer and see what happens. So you saw the duration of this class, you committed the time to complete it. So let yourself enjoy these final few minutes. Time for your body to unwind and let go of any lingering tension. Time for your breath to settle into a more peaceful rhythm that you can carry away with you into the rest of your day. Maybe cultivating a little bit of peace and stillness in your mind that lingers on once the class is over. Let your body be held, let it be supported by your mat. Let everything soften. If you notice that your mind has drifted away elsewhere, maybe it's wandered away from the present and into the past, into the future, can you gently nudge it back into this moment? Reconnecting to your breath, take a few big inhales and exhales, inviting in more expansion, energy, vitality with each in-breath, letting something go which you don't need anymore as you release your out-breath. Inviting movement, wiggle fingers and toes, circle ankles and wrists. You can start off small and gentle, then let that movement become more expansive, more expressive. Use the movement to re-energize through your body. Maybe working towards a full body stretch, like you've just woken up, you've just pressed the reset button for the rest of your day. Then take your time to find your way back up. No need to rush. We'll meet in a comfortable seat when you feel ready. Eyes could stay closed if that feels comfortable as you find your way back up. Let 
Let's finish our practice together with three releasing breaths. Inhale through your nose, reach your arms up overhead. Sigh out through the mouth. Press the air down away in front of you. Feel that resistance of the air. Two more, big inhale, big exhale. One more time, expansive breath in and a complete breath out. Hands can rest down on the knees for a sense of grounding, grounding in the effects of your practice, whatever it is that you want to carry away with you from your mat into the rest of your day. And as always for the rest of your day, I hope you think peaceful thoughts, speak peaceful words and feel peace in your heart. Thank you all as always for choosing to share your practice with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the start, if you would love to let me know what you think in the comments, I would love that as well. So please do. Any requests for future classes, things you want me to focus on are always welcome too. A thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed this one and that I should make more like it. And a subscribe would be amazing so that hopefully next time I post a class, you'll be here with me again as well. And we can do more yoga together. But more important than any of those things is to stay healthy, stay happy, stay well and have a great day.